lieutenant governor is going to read a statement. He doesn't plan to take any questions, and then I'll comment further. Yvonne? It has been overwhelming and humbling all at the same time to receive so much support and encouragement from people all across this great state of Nebraska. It is the people that have worked with me who know me best, who know my character, that realize the statements that have been made about me are not who I am. This has been a difficult situation, and after much thought, discussion, and prayer, I have decided that for the good of my family, for the office of Lieutenant Governor, and for the future of Nebraska, I am resigning today at, from the office of Lieutenant Governor, as well as running mate for Pete Ricketts. For the past 10 years, it has been an honor serving my constituents and the state of Nebraska and the citizens of the state of Nebraska. I'm proud of what we accomplished and grateful for the opportunity to serve Nebraska. I love this state and am forever thankful for the people of this state who have faithfully supported me. I wish you well. This is a sad day for the state of Nebraska. LeVon Heidemann has been an outstanding public official, both as a state senator and lieutenant governor. However, circumstances changed yesterday when a judge issued a protection order. Last night, LeVon and his wife met with me in my office at approximately 9.30 p.m. He apologized for what occurred and told me he would be resigning. As I've said many times, as, a public, as public officials, we are held to a higher standard of conduct, and we should be. This is a very unfortunate situation, but LeVon is doing what is appropriate by putting his family first and stepping down as lieutenant governor. Are there any questions? Say that again. Did you ask him to say? No. When uh, we met last night, uh, he apologized to me, apologized to me for everything that occurred, and said he would be resigning. Yet. Yesterday, uh, I was at the Midwest U.S. Japan. Association meeting in Des Moines, Iowa, and as we were returning, uh, my staff called me and informed me about the protection order. LeVon and I had had a, a previous conversation a few days before then uh, in which he indicated there was a family dispute ongoing, uh, and I think he thought uh, it might be resolved privately. Governor, um, this is the second lieutenant governor you lost. What does this say about your ability to choose people? Well, these are two separate, distinct, and unrelated circumstances. And so I don't think you ought to try to connect them in that regard. Yeah, Andrew. No. And uh, again, he was returning from an event in Hastings last night. Uh, we met in my office at 930. He immediately apologized for everything that occurred and said he would be resigning, putting his family first, which I think is appropriate. Well, that's the next order of business. A lot has transpired in the last 24 hours, and uh, as soon as this news conference is over, that's what we'll get to work on. Governor, Section 32.623 says that if somebody declines their nomination before September 1st, their name doesn't go on the ballot, but no declination shall be effective after such date. How can he withdraw as the Ricketts running? I, I think that's a question for the Ricketts campaign. Yeah, Andrew.
Well, uh, there are a lot of people in this building. Uh, down at Elk Creek, I was just at an event down there. Over 300 people showed up because of Levon. Uh, he's a personal friend. He and I have worked together the entire time that he's been in the legislature and the time as, as Lieutenant Governor. He chaired the Appropriations Committee. Uh, I don't think you're going to find a state senator who isn't going to say he was an outstanding uh, state senator, did a great job as Appropriations Committee chair, did a great job as lieutenant governor, but you've got this private uh, family matter uh, that resulted in a protection order and that changed things. Uh, and again, LaVon is and will continue to be a good friend. Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave the family dispute to the family, and they're going to try to resolve it in private now. Does this involve, do you know, the land that he has uh, an option to the I, I have no, uh, no details of what it involves other than the fact that they're concerned for their mother's health and uh, his dad's estate. You know, I think he made it very clear uh, when he apologized to me. There were a variety of circumstances involved. And again, as I've said, as public officials, we're held to a higher standard of conduct. We should be. And given all those circumstances, he felt it best to uh, uh, step aside and get these family matters resolved. You know, I, I want to be very clear. I don't know a single Nebraskan who would want uh, any family matter like this played out in the public arena. It's very, very difficult, but that's what happens when you're a public official. I don't engage in speculation. He uh, arrived at 9.30 last night, uh, apologized for what occurred, and said he'd be stepping down. No, I believe the protection order was issued yesterday, Joanne. What steps will you take to get a lieutenant governor? Well, there, there are about four months left. We, we, we need a lieutenant governor. We'll go about uh, looking at our options and moving forward to uh, find someone. How about Peter? No comment. Uh, as I said, when Lamont showed up last night, he apologized for what occurred and told me he would be stepping down as lieutenant governor. But you did not ask for his resignation. I did not ask for his resignation. Again, I want to be very clear. Lamont Heideman is an honorable man. He's taking the appropriate step, putting his family first, stepping down and moving forward. Uh, you know, I'm not going to try to speculate other than say, again, he was apologizing for everything that occurred. Other questions? Yeah, Andrew. Well, you know, uh, between myself and the staff, we'll be able to handle those duties and Again, we'll try to move as expeditiously as we can uh, to appoint a new lieutenant governor. No, this thing happened so quickly. Like I say, as soon as I leave here, I'll start thinking about it now. We're going to move forward. How much is the effect of the emergency impact? Uh, that's a question for them to answer. All right. Thank you very much.